Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DXA UK and uh, this is a video where I give my verdict on um, DMR versus Yesus C4 FM after over a month of use. Now, what it is, is that um, when I first started doing digital voice modes, I was doing a uh, first DMR and then I moved to Yesus C4 FM after a few people recommended me to give it uh, a try. So I suppose the first question you want, you know, you want to ask me is, which one of these two, you know, two digital modes is best DMR or C4FM? And the answer is they both have their pros and cons. So let me break it down to you. Um, so um, in terms of being the busiest out of the two, it's got to be DMR, right? Uh, for example, or going on the Brian Meister Network, Talk Group 91, that's pretty much active 24-7. Whereas with uh, Yesu C4FM, um, it's only certain times of the day that it can be uh busy right but then you're going to be struggling you know maybe struggling to do a qso whereas with bar things uh you know so with with dmr and the brian meister network talk group 91 for sure you're going to be doing you know you will do a qso uh on one on one day that you're going to be um transmitting on what about for beginners which one would i recommend you know dmr or c4 fm again i would go for um, DMR and the reason for that is because it's the more busier mode um, like I said compared to C4FM um, and even though it's got a steeper learning curve to set up uh, you know DMR um, at least like I said it's rewarding um, after you know afterwards because it is busier uh, like I said and more active um, than C4FM and therefore you've got more chance of doing a QSO which one of these two modes is the cheapest to uh, get up and running uh, say buying equipment setting up and all that again the the winner for that is DMR and uh, the reason is that for example you get the this power frame DM1701 um, you might get it with the open GT77 firmware you can get it complete with uh, charging dock and everything for 50 British pounds okay and uh, programming cable too and with this uh, yesu ft70d alone it costs it cost uh, 170 british pounds brand new uh, i then had to get a charging dock it cost me something like um, 30 british pounds the uh, yesu don't supply a charging dock with this uh, transceiver you have to buy it separately it comes with a charger uh, but um, it plugs directly to this uh, Yesu handheld um, on the side and it's very slow to charge compared to the charging dock and then I had to buy a plug for you know to connect to the charging dock right because it's the plug that you use for the charging dock is not the one that you use to plug into you know directly to this Yesu handheld so so that was another uh, 30 pounds bringing it up to 230 pounds okay so um and, and of course, if you want to get the hotspots, right, for each of these, again, you know, like I said, Baofeng, DM, uh, DM1, someone won 50 British pounds, it cost me. Then you've got the hotspot that will cost another 50 British pounds. You can get those on AliExpress as well. So that brings this total for DMR, this DMR setup for, you know, up to 100 British pounds. And then for the Yesu setup, it went up to 280 British pounds. So yeah, definitely DMR is the uh, the cheaper option. But um, DMR, like I said, it's it's more recommended for beginners because you'll be up and running, you know, um, not only will you be up and running once you have everything set up, but you, you will find that there's plenty of activity to do a QSO, you know, as, as quickly as uh, possible. However, let me just uh, point something out as well, <clears throat> excuse me, is that um, what I'm finding with DMR lately is, uh, especially with Talk Group 91 on the Brian Meister Network, is that it's so busy lately. And I suppose it's because a lot of people, um, you know, are joining DMR. And the thing is, lately, when I've been on Talk Group 91, uh, I'm talking to people who are saying, hey, I'm, you know, I'm new on DMR and all that and this and the other, you know. And I suppose the reason for that is because not only DMR is going up in popularity because you see all these YouTube videos that are helping people how to set up uh, DMR and it's you know becoming easier to set up you know uh, DMR uh, your own DMR setup but also as well is that be a, you know out of all the digital voice modes um, you know this here C4 FM from Yesu Icoms D Star Biofe you know DMR you know and getting these Baofengs they're so cheap right much cheaper than going for something from you know Yesu and uh, Icom right and that, that I suppose is the reason why you know people you know more people are adapting you know and taking up um, DMR than for example something like like I said Yesu's uh, C4FM or Icom's um, 
these stuff something else i want to say as well another question is which has the better auto quality well they both sound good but i much prefer um, dmr even though some people say the sound quality can be harsher but i find it's more intelligible you know you can understand people more compared to yeso c4 fm which can be um sound um like a bit muddy right it's got like like you know that effect um like somebody's talking underwater for example i mean it's a good it's a good strong sound coming from this uh, uh you know yesu ft70d but um in terms of which one has the better sound definition i'm giving it to um dmr um itself but going back to the point i was saying about um you know d um you know the uh dmr you know uh, being very busy lately you know with a lot of people talking and so on um what it is is that um sometimes i struggle to talk on you know on talk group 91 because there's just so busy lots of people calling in and uh, so on whereas with ciesu's uh, c4 fm right um what it is is that um when i hear somebody calling i call them you know i call them back say you know i'm this is uh, my call sign i'm listening you know um go ahead please and uh, yeah and the difference is that with dmr I'm having to cut my uh, contact uh, short. I'm, you know, and having to talk to that person uh, in as short as uh, in as short as time as possible because Talk Group 91 is very busy. Whereas with C4FM, because it's much less busier compared to uh, DMR, um, you know, I can take my time talking to that person. I can have a, you know a good conversation with that person. Whereas with DMR, I'm having to say, look, I'm going to cut it short because I'm sure other people uh, want to uh, talk on this uh, talk group 91 and so on. So if that person has got you know asked me two or three questions, for example, um, during a contact, I can only answer one, you know, for example, or I try to answer all the questions very quickly. Whereas with Yesu C4 FM. Like I said, because it's much uh, much less busier compared to, um, you know, DMR, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm able to answer those questions uh, properly and in my own time. Now, of course, with DMR, you can change talk group, you know, and go to, a, a, you know, a, a room or talk group that's um, a lot quieter than talk group 91. And I've done that before. And therefore, I'm able to speak to that person, you know, more leisurely, you know, than compared to on talk group 91, whereas I'm having to, you know, have it myself, for example. So that's the good thing. That's, I would say, is the main good thing about Yesu C4FM compared to, um, you know, uh, DMR. So just, uh, just something to uh, think about. But overall, which one would I really recommend would you say which one which one of these two uh, modes would i keep you know dmr or c4fm well it's got to be dmr because it's the busier of the two you know i can switch you know i switch my transceiver on this power thing i switch on my hotspot right and for sure i'm going to make a few contacts in a day whereas with yesu's uh, c4fm you know I, I might not make any at all in one day or maybe the next day i'll make two and then the next day i won't make any at all on c4fm and um there it is but um yeah it's something to consider you know if you're thinking you know of which modes of the digital voice modes um to go for but definitely dmr you know is the way to go um if uh, you know you you know if you want to make uh, contacts uh you know and start uh, talking to people um straight away and of course you would go for dmr as well because the price of like i said the bow thing then adding the hotspot altogether, it is much, much cheaper than anything that uh, IASU, you know, and ICOM are offering. So I hope this uh, helps you, uh, you know, making a choice of uh, deciding which digital voice mode um, to go for. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in another video.